Hey guys, are you here? Right here, G Unit. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are aware of this racetrack called Galileo Ring. It's been played out many times, been grinded out. Over the past few days, myself and a few others have been trying to go for the world record, absolutely pushing the limits of this with a T20. Now, at one point, this track, you know, we all thought 123 was amazing with the Turismo, obviously with high end. Then we ended up seeing 122s, of course, then testing it out with other cars. It didn't seem to get close to those times. T20 came out. The car got 122 flat and we thought that was insane. Could a 121 be possible? Past few days seemed like that was the case when Neo broke that 121 barrier for the first time with 121.8. I decided to go for it myself. It's quite difficult to break it first. Uh, then eventually, Murphos got 121.4. And we're thinking, holy shit, is a 120 possible? Neo comes out of nowhere with a 121.2. And then he breaks his own personal best with a 121.014, which is a lap that you see him right now. But then... My personal best after that was a 121.3. So I'm thinking, holy shit, this is getting tense, man. This battle for 120. Who's going to get it? Who's going to get that world first 120 uh, after grinding up for several hours? I managed to do so, but I managed to do it without the heads up display and the map. So I can concentrate better, I guess, because I always seem to pay attention to the sectors all the time. So I don't know. So psychology played a part in this. Uh, so you see the lap here. That's Neo's 121.3. 014 i'll show you my lap right after this but yeah man it's it's crazy uh track like that's the thing about racing you don't actually know the absolute limit yo yo to blue and that's me talking in the background i was live streaming this unfortunately i couldn't get this recorded on my gato so the quality is a bit deteriorated because it come straight from the stream but yeah so i had to sort of attach uh, uh artificial timer on the bottom right because i didn't know how fast i was going at this point you know, that's the, that's, I guess, the good thing about it. But then the bad thing about it, it sort of ruins the excitement and adrenaline rush that you have during a fast lap. But then again, do you really want that when you want to go for a world record? I don't know. Um, personally, I, it didn't feel like a quick lap for me at the time when I got this. I only realized when the timer came up at the end of the race, you know, the scoreboard, leaderboard, whatever. And I saw that time, I was like, holy shit. And you see my uh, reaction at the end. But yeah, when I actually pay attention to the sectors now after getting the lap, I'm thinking, oh, wow. This, if I actually had the heads up display on at this point, I would have had a lot of pressure on me. I would have started panicking. I would say, oh, shit. Keep composed, man. Don't choke. All these thoughts go through your head and end up choking at the end. And you're like, fuck, I ruined a good lap. Uh, but in these situations, without the heads up display and the minimap, whatever, you're just sort of paying attention to what's required from you in order to get these laps. And that's putting everything together and just sticking to those lines and really pushing it. So... There's hardly any distractions, you know, just getting straight to the point. Uh, I don't know, I might do this, continue this for the future hot lapping. I don't know if I'm going for more records, but then again, it's just one of those things. It just came like that. Whoa, it's insane on the fourth lap there. That's just insane, man. The 120 finally has arrived out of nowhere. <gasps> I got it. 120.915. I got it. 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 I got the king lap. I got the king lap. Holy I didn't realize I got the fing lap. Holy sh! Look at that time. Look at that fing time. I didn't realize. So, yeah, there you guys have it. That was my slightly over exaggerated uh, live reaction there when I realized that I got that time. But, yeah, uh, I'll be making a guide for how to get these sort of times on this track and muscle in so you can help you guys out to improve your pace if you guys like these tracks. Other than that, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more GTA 5 content in the future. I'll see you guys soon. Shaggy, sign out. Good night. Peace. Yeah. Hey guys, are you here? Right here, yeah, Gene. So recently, I, I've been trying to get back into GTA 5 racing. Obviously, I uh, haven't done it in a while. I took a, quite a bit of a break. 